Stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. You can't do it, dude. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. This is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. He's not beating it. Oh, He's man. not gonna beat it. He's not gonna beat it. He might beat it. Uh, Pass number two. Oh, this is good. Come on, come on. Because I'm a model, people automatically think, oh, she's too prissy to be able to do these things, but they shouldn't underestimate me. I am a strong girl, and I'm a pretty tough competitor. I'm gonna attempt everything. I mean, I have friends back home being hate, and if you completely back out, we're gonna kick the crap out of you. So I'm either looking for a beating or I'm gonna win this money. I'm not one of those people here that's gonna be like, well, I really think I'm gonna learn a lot about myself, and I'm gonna figure out who Dave is now. No, I'm in it strictly for 50 Gs. I'm gonna win it. I'm winning this whole thing. It's just a game to me. It's a $50,000 game. When I'm put in situations when it's like competing, whether it's against other girls or guys, I eat it up. I love it. I totally love it. I am extremely worried. I don't know if people admit this or not, but I am scared of many, many things. The reason I'm doing the show is because a lot of people think I can't do it. The six of you have been brought here from all across the country with one goal in mind. To stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. And to win the money, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. Now, if you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you are eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. However, if you do succeed, you move on to the next round and you are that much closer to the cash. Now remember, this is a game, so strategy comes into play. Feel free to mess with each other's minds and play off each other's fears. Gamesmanship is always welcome here. You guys ready to find out what your first stunt is? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, here it is. All right. Submerged in this icy cold water is an 80-foot long tunnel. When I say go, you're going to jump into the water and enter the pipe. You must swim the entire length. Along the way, there are four pockets where you can get air. Two men and the two women that swim this the fastest will advance to the next round. If you do not complete it, or if you need to be rescued, you will be eliminated. And we've already randomly selected who's gonna go first. Carol, you are lucky number one. Yeah. Ready to do this? Yeah. All right, go. come on. You nervous? Yeah, naturally. All right, take your clothes off, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joe. Yes. Bow and check a bow wow. Yeah. Come on, baby. Woo! Come <laughs> on. She's hot. No, I went 50 Gs. This was cool. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know she had a bike like that. How, what do you feel about your competition as far as the other girls go? Well, they're prissy. Who's prissy? Which Harmony. one? Harmony? Harmony's a prissy girl. So you're not worried about her? No, She's I'm no not threat. worried. I'm a little worried about um, the athletic girl. Charlotte. Charlotte. She's the only one I'm kind of worried about. Really? On this round, yeah. Either what are the guys? So Their egos are going to kill them, I think. Their egos are going to kill them? Yeah. I'm going to bang my head. I can already feel it coming. It's three feet wide, 36 <laughs> inches. <laughs> Their muscles don't count. Exactly. Exactly. Your little muscles, muscles are going to freeze yet. out of us. Talk to the giant over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck to you. Thank you. I'm going to be up there. When I say go, then you jump. But wait until okay. I say go, OK? OK. Good luck. I'm a pretty tough girl, and people don't see that. Growing up the way I did with just roughing around the house, playing on trees, I guess I was just a tom girl. Don't get me wrong. I like lady things, but I can just be tough. Are you ready? Ready. 
set, go! Go! Get past the first air pocket. One minute, 11 <laughs> seconds. Well, I thought it was actually gonna be pretty simple. It was too dark for me. I saw a little light, but it was just kind of hazy up there. And then I realized, well, that is an air pocket, and I turned around to take it, right? Because I needed air. He was quick. That was good. Yeah, she was. Quite impressed. Quite impressed, Carol. Woohoo! Quite impressed. So Harmony's no threat. <laughs> no. All right, well, let's no. go over and see. Harmony's next. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, Harmony. Oh this my god. This is like god. major competition right now. I'm nervous. You nervous? Were you this way or this way? Look how wide it is. Were you butterflying or were you Look going how wide it is. Think about it. I gotta tell you, Carol was talking a lot of crap about you. What she said. Yeah, she said you're not a threat at all. She was worried about the other girl, Charlotte. Yeah. But she's not worried about you. Yeah. She says Harmony and he's not Chrissy. The, that's, she's the model. I'm not. She's, that's what she was saying. I'm a tough girl. Are you really? Yeah. You tough? I'm tough. Really? Yeah. Like in what way? I'm what an only you child, tough? so I have to be. Really? Yeah. I thought only childs were spoiled. Yeah. I wasn't spoiled. I'm tough. I'm gonna win. boy. I'm going through like flipper. boy. We'll see. We'll see. I'm feeling it. Her time was a minute and 11 seconds. If you beat that, you are guaranteed in tomorrow. That's all you have to do. Okay. Remember, there are four spots where you can come up and you can get air. So hold your breath as long as you can, take a deep breath, and just do this. All right, you ready to do it? I think so. All right. I'm going first, my friend. Yeah, so that means you're going first, you're going to stop for a couple pockets? No, you guys are going to be tripping I'm on my time. I'm strolling through, baby. I'm strolling through. OK, when I say go, Set yourself, ready, deep breath, set, go! Come on, girl. Come on. Submerged in this icy cold water is an 80 foot long tunnel. When I say go, you're gonna jump into the water and enter the pipe. You must swim the entire length. You got it. Harmony, come on, you gotta do this! The guy come on, Harmony. Like you gotta go underwater soon. Come on, Harmony! Come on, Harmony. She's panicking, come she's on. quick. Uh, you can do you it. You don't go think go. so? You gonna go home? No, my vlog. You what? <laughs> I can't breathe. Don't just stand there, dog pat on you. Get in there. Oh. Come on, you can do it. Go all the way to Cali for this. Oh, Harmony, I don't break my heart. You can do this. I can't breathe. Take a chance. Are you quitting? Yeah. Oh, get over I'm here. sorry, I can't breathe. I couldn't even see the opening, and then I tried to go through it, and my lungs just like gave out on me, and like my, I felt like my whole body was like filled with water, and so I panicked, and I, I just felt like I had to get out. Sorry, Harmony. Thanks for playing again, but I gotta Thanks send you Joe. back <laughs> okay. that way. Take care. Bye bye. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't make it through, but at the same time, I'm also glad that I came. I'm still going on with the status that like I was on the show and I tried it, and they're gonna be like, wow, she's really cool for doing it. Not good. You'll be all right, bro. She panicked. You're gonna panic too. Oh. Oh. Look at you with the lizard skin. Oh, you know, I got it. You're going crazy with it. 
Yeah, I try. I just really, really want Charlotte to lose. And I'm not trying to, I just really, really want her to lose. You beat the time, it's just you just sticking it in Carol's face. Yeah. That's the only reason why you have to beat her time. Yeah. Okay. But all you have to do is complete it. You move on, you move on tomorrow. Yeah. You can do it in five minutes. Yeah. You don't no. want to do it in five minutes. No, you want to take it. it. You like want to do it. A minute six. A minute six? Something That's like your that. prediction? A, a minute, minute six, six, a minute ten. You heard it here first, folks. Under a minute eleven. Come on, Charlotte. Bump your head. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like everybody. I think it's an interesting crowd. You have an like, obnoxious one, you have a like, quiet one, you have a like, kid, you have like the model. But yeah, I think I can totally kick their asses. Ready, set, go! Come on, show. <laughs> Hi, Carol, how's she gonna do here? I don't know, she's kinda looking good. She took a Just breath in hole one already. one already. Did she? Yeah, you passed hole one. You went to hole two before you took a breath. Really? Mm -hmm. God, you just can't tell what she's doing. She blew by hole two, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow, one in three is a good call. I'm going with one in three, people. Like the fear of drowning, the fear of the dark, and now claustrophobia all together hits you. Okay, I totally want to get out of here. I don't want to play this game anymore. You really are like tight, and you're having to use your hands to push yourself through. And ugh, that was just awful. Oh, what's up? Congratulations, you are Thank in you. tomorrow. Thank Absolutely, you. Thank without you. a doubt. Thank you. Now, let's go see how the guys yeah. are doing. That's good. You feeling that? Thank you. Where do you do this? What do you think the odds of you winning are? It's 100%. 100%? You're yeah. very confident about that? Jeff, what do you think of that? Yeah. You seem pretty quiet, confident, man. Totally. You got some swimming experience or He's something? He's a scary one. It's lifeguard. Lifeguard? Used You're to a be. lifeguard? Used really? To be. Did you ever have to hold your breath for long periods of time underwater? Yeah. So perhaps you would have an advantage at something like this. Possibly. Hmm. Not so that's why you're smiling. The guy's, guy's like talking six, crap. Four, maybe. He's not fit. Is that gonna in the well, thing. you know what? If he's that tall, he's gonna get out of it quicker because he's well, longer. Look how wide he is. He's like, you can't even see me behind here. <laughs> taking the money home. I'm taking the Just money. Just that one, but you know. My mom's waiting for this money. Is she? Yeah, she's well, getting she's it. Gonna, she's gonna be just freak out. Whatever, there. whatever. Freak really? out. You're not tripping. You see how You're not tripping? Cool he's, he said he's not tripping. Oh, it has nothing to do with tripping. It has to do oh. with it's breathing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Swimming. Just take that bee that never goes out of your ear. Mm. Okay. 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 All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right, all right, Mr. B. Good luck, Mr. Buzz Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> That means wave rider in Hawaiian? Yeah. Oh. So I gotta be able to hold my breath. Dude. So you're a big surfer. You like to surf? Oh yeah. You surf all the time? Every day. Even in the winter? All winter. Oh, so you're used to cold water then. Oh, the water I'm not afraid you, of. Because you live in San Francisco, right. that's cold water. Like 48. Even in the summer, that's cold mm -hmm. water up there. I'm not worried about the cold. So you're not worried about that? What I'm, are you actually, worried about? I'm worried about the space because I'm a little, I'm a little wider. Guy, yeah. right? Dave's definitely the cocky one out of the bunch. I can't wait to tell him. He's definitely uh, Chunky uh, and arrogant is earlier. There you go. Chunky and arrogant. Joel might be my only competition. The other ones, just, they're too timid. Come on now, it's $50,000. You know, I was already making a checklist on my way here of what I'm gonna do with it. Set, ready, go! You know, he surfs in cold water all the time. That's what he says. He says he's used to cold water. All right, he took a breath in the first hole already. Carol didn't take a breath in the first hole. She zoomed right by that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Blew by hole number two, though. I went to this carriage was one and three. He took air already in hole three. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He passed four. Uh -oh. He's out. Wow. <laughs> 40 seconds. Dave. 40 seconds. He was talking about his breath being so short. Doesn't seem short then. I know. 
Yes. So you're gonna get those dudes nervous now? Oh, it's over with. It's over with? Because Joel trusts me. Joel trusts me. Yeah, here's the thing, Joel and I, Joel and I have kind of been conspiring to scare Hollywood really bad, really? so. I'm gonna really scare Joel right now. I'm okay. gonna pull him aside after Hollywood goes down. Hollywood? Yeah. Hollywood's Jeff, the clumsy Why guy. Why call him Hollywood? He just looks like a guy should be on a soap opera or something. <laughs> you know? Jeff, you next? You ready to do this? Jeff's like, let's go. Jeff's done. All right, let's do it. You want, you want to say anything to these guys before you go in there? Peace. Peace. Take your time. Don't rush into the tube. If you rush into the tube, you're done. <laughs> We're going to see a sign first. You ever do any swimming in cold water? Um, lakes in Wisconsin are kind of cold. Yeah. It's uh, not as not ice cold. What do you think about uh, Dave's time? 40 seconds, man. That was pretty good. A little more than I thought. The water was piercing when it hit me. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of like, <laughs> like, so it's hard to breathe. It yeah. was so not like cold that. for me. Beat that 40 seconds. You're guaranteed to stay in. Ready to do this? Let's rock it, bro. All right, man, good luck to you. Wait till I say go, all right? Well, I just always think that you should prove yourself before you can talk your trash. If you have something to back it up with, great, but if you talk your mouth off, then you don't back it up. You look like a fool. How do you think he's gonna do? He's done, he won't be done. Funny. He's too big, look at him. Here we go, Hollywood! Take a deep breath. Ready, Hollywood. set, go! Don't panic, Hollywood! Oh, he's panicking. He's, look he's going over Hollywood. the tube, he went over the tube. He did not take air in the first hole. He did? No. This is when second you hole. Oh my goodness. Quick breath in the second hole. He's already gone through it. He's a lifeguard. That might be beat 40. I thought he was just saying. He's got air in the third. Nice. Come on. Tick, 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 click. Wow. 36 seconds! Ah! Six seconds, my man. There you go. Congratulations. Damn, 40 seconds. He doesn't 30 talk six much. Seconds. Looks like someone's going home here, Dave. Where are you, buddy? Oh, when are y'all gonna go Damn. home? Yep. Damn, you gotta give the boy props. This is crazy. <laughs> this show is crazy. I just lost to a freaking wannabe soap opera star. He's a big, goofy guy. He jumped. I'm so pissed. It's because he's tall. He's got oh, more spring. <laughs> All right, he's got a little zip in his step, okay? Mm. All right. Joel, how do you feel, man? You gotta beat 40 seconds or you're going home. Here we go, one breath. One breath? One breath, one breath he says, one breath. Yeah, you, I gotta you give you a I always look like, you went past the first hole, you went past the second hole, I'm like, what the heck? I took a breath in the second one. Oh, whatever it was. Quick, I was you were what Do you think it helped you being a lifeguard and stuff, doing all that? Oh. You don't know. What's your biggest fear? It's coming down to this. What's your personal biggest fear? Have fear. You don't losing, have a fear. Losing. Losing. I don't want to lose. I like that. I don't want to lose. But you're gonna I'm going to win this. Here we go. One breath. All right, my man. One breath. Good luck to you. Are you ready? We're all set. You ready? Put your goggles on. All right. Wait till I say go. All right. Remember, you can't dive in the water. You have to jump. One of the things I'm afraid of is having to be underwater for a timed period because the other contestants aren't smokers, and I am. Dave, you know you're on the bubble, right? Yeah. It's 40 seconds, you're going packing. I'm tripping. All right. We ready? I got gotcha. I got gotcha. Ready, yeah. set, go! Oh, He's not gonna beat it. He's not gonna beat it. Dave, you know you're on the bubble, right? Yeah. He beats 40 seconds, you're going packing. Tripping. I got gotcha. set, I got gotcha. you. Ready, yeah. set, go! Oh. All right, Dave, what do you think? Six, seven, Home. eight, nine. Probably one. He's not beating it. No, he's not going to beat it. He's not going to beat it. He might beat it. He passed number two. Oh, this oh. is... Come on, come on. Take a breath, take a breath. Do you think there's an advantage knowing that he has to beat a yes. time? Shh, take a breath. <laughs> Is he taking a breath? Yeah, he took a breath. He's taking, is he still on three? No, he's gone. Oh, Joe. He passed four. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe's oh. going for it. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, it is so quick. 39 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh. 39? Are you sure? 39 seconds. 39 seconds. You beat me by a second. He just beat you by a second. 
You're Dave, kidding me. I swear to you, he beat you by a second. I'm sorry. Oh my God! I'm sorry, he kicked ass, but he's it was a good not kid. good enough, my friend. Oh, well. We gotta send you packing. It's gonna take me a little bit to get over this. This wasn't like, oh, I learned a lot about Dave and I'm gonna grow as a person. No, I'm pretty pissed. It's getting closer to that money. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, talker! Bye-bye, talker, we'll get you nowhere! Take the walk, baby, take the walk! It's gonna be quieter, though. I know. <laughs> Like that. You like sending Dave I home? Like that. Yeah, I like sending Dave home. <laughs> he was just smacking and smacking everybody the entire time. Was that even hey. better than beating the time? Was that uh, him? Yeah, that was good. Was, was it was even good. better sending that, him yeah, home? That was a home run. <laughs> that was taking him out. All right, man. Well, that congratulations. Thank you. This is the final four moving into tomorrow. Yeah. Excited? Yes. Yes. Well, congratulations on all of you. Spectacular performances all around. You guys did great. And uh, let's get out of here and get you dried off. And we'll see you tomorrow. Woo! Right. Let's get it, guys. Come on. come on this way. Come on over here, you guys. Hey, come on. I was quite impressed with everybody in the water stunt. I wouldn't count anybody out at this point. The playing feels just as much as it was yesterday. It's still open game. And the best man win, or a woman. Everyone is out to win. No one wants to go home empty-handed, so we're out here to win, and I'm totally trying to focus on just to try my heart at whatever I do. I have fears, but I honestly think life is totally short. It's like, we don't know how long we have to be here. Like, have fun every day. The well, stunts are definitely something that I would do at a normal day, like even if you didn't give me any money, but knowing that there's money on the other end and it might give me a little extra edge, a little extra push to do something that I might not be able to do otherwise. What's up guys? What's up Joe? Hey. How you guys doing? Good. How you doing? Joe? Excellent. Have a seat. <laughs> We're gonna have a little picnic fear factor style. And what we're gonna do is, you're each gonna have to eat two eggs. Seems easy, right? Yeah. Well, these aren't regular eggs. They're called balut eggs. And what a balut egg is, it's an egg with an underdeveloped duck still inside of it. <laughs> They're a delicacy in the Philippines. They're known as the eggs with legs or the treat with feet. And inside this egg is the entire duck. When you bite into it, you're gonna crunch right into the entire duck. The wings, the feathers, the beak, the feet, <laughs> everything. <sighs> this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna open no. this thing up. Yeah, really. No. No. Oh. <laughs> this part right here, you don't have to eat. You don't have to eat this that? is hard, it's impossible to eat. You don't have to eat that. that. That's the hard white part. This part, you do have to eat. This <laughs> is a little ducky. That's the underdeveloped duck. Tweet, tweet. Right there. You gotta eat that and all this other jazz, too. Tweet, tweet. You gotta have three minutes, in which time you must consume two balut eggs. And if you do not do this, you'll be eliminated. If you try it but fail to keep it down, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round, and you're that much closer to the cash. All right, well, we have randomly selected who's going to go first. And Charlotte, you are lucky number one. Hi. Hi. Charlotte, go right ahead. Go. You puke on my shoes, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, Chuck, we're going to chuck bucket. Chuck here. Got to close. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You people are freaks. You're a freak. You're like a carnival act. Yummy, yummy. You know, they just came out of your gap. <laughs> the smell that just oozed out of your pie hole. Oh. What you? Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on. What? Don't throw up, Charlie. Puke. Ew, yeah. just puke. puke. Just puke. All right, one down, one to go. You done? Let me see. Open, please. All right, you got a minute. Congratulations. Oh. 
If they came and offered me the $50,000 right now just for eating one more, there's no way I can do that again. There's no way. Joel, you ready to do this? Dude, don't put the whole thing in your mouth. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, was it rough? It was really bad. Really? You think it Joel's going to be able really to pull this bad. off? I don't know. It's pretty nasty. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Here you go, Joe. You ready, Joel? I'm ready, baby. Go ahead. Time starts now. Go. Oh, I saw the head. I saw. Look at the head. Just yeah. fell off. He bit the head off, and it <laughs> fell over the other one. You see it? Yeah, it is. Look at it. Oh, there guys. it is. Ah, huh? yeah. That's the head. I'm starving. Are you really? I'm really having no lunch. Ugh. Uh, how's that second one taste? The gag. Really? No. <laughs> I want to throw up. Really? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Your time's up. Mm. Come on, Charlotte. Let me, let me, get, the, let me no, get it no, down for you. Come on. In front of Joel. You might be able to eliminate him. Ew. You guys need to be watched. Oh. OK, you're good. Well, congratulations. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> Jeff, you ready to do this? You like eggs, man? Yeah. Usually over easy. I don't know. OK, go for it, Jeff. Three minutes. He's got a tongue ring. He's going to get Baluk inside his tongue Ew. ring. He's going to get beak in it. Mm. Let me hear a crunch. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, that was juicy. <sighs> what does the underdeveloped duck taste like? I just finished it. I felt his eyeball slide down my throat. Mm. Oh. Honestly, it was at the root of my mouth. Yeah. Oh. You gotta get all that stuff, dude. All the juicy bits. Hope the second one's as good as the first. I'm supposed to eat the show. Oh. Oh. Joe, are you done? One minute to hold it down, which I think will be fine, because he's a freak. <laughs> and Carol, are you ready to do this? Yes. So did you have a baby duck as a kid? Really? What was the duck's name? I think it was Sally. I was so young. Sally? You know what? I want you to do it for Sally. Go. Come on, Carol. And let me know when you, you bite into the skull. <sighs> if you are going to throw up, I have a bucket for you. Oh, God. I can hear it crunch. This is I. She's a savage. Look at her. She's on her second. I haven't eaten all morning. I'm pretty hungry myself. How did you do that? Oh, you're insane. <laughs> I only was breathing through my mouth, so I couldn't smell it, so I couldn't taste it much. Not seeing it and not smelling it very well, it was mind over matter. You shouldn't come on this show if you're skirmish. <laughs> well, congratulations, you guys. I, I really did not think you were all going to be able to do this. Clearly, you're a bunch of freaks, and uh, you did great. Okay. All right, well, you all move on to the finals, and uh, let's get out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be a tough day today. I wish they were knocked out when we were doing the eating stuff, but it didn't work out that way. I got to work harder. I have to try harder. So that's what I'm focusing on, just try harder. What I plan to do for the third event is obviously beat the rest, but I'm not going to attempt to fake out or mess with anybody's minds because I feel that I'm going to be able to surpass the other contestants and hopefully win that 50 grand. The thing that's going to mean the most to me when I win is that there were six of us and you know we all tried really hard but I did it I beat six other people mentally and physically like with everything I had and did it on my own it's mental all oh, it's mental it's all mind games it's all fear it's if you're if you're scared you're not gonna do it if you're not if you, if you have no fear then you got it it's to be a daredevil all right how's everybody doing doing well all hey. right What's up, Jeff? well congratulations for making it this far You've all swam through the dark claustrophobic tunnel. You all chowed down the balut eggs. And now today, one of you is going to walk away with $50,000. All 
All right, this is your final stunt. You guys are gonna cross this 12 inch wide beam that separates these two buildings over 120 feet in the air. Since you guys breezed through yesterday so easy, we decided to take it up a notch. You're not gonna walk across, you're gonna cross on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna ride this bike no way. across that 12 inch wide beam. The person who does it the fastest, or the person who goes the furthest without falling off, is the one who's gonna walk away with $50,000. Now we've already randomly selected who's gonna go first. Oh. And Charlotte, you are lucky number one. Ready to do this? Um, yeah. Do you like riding bikes? Not anymore. Afraid of heights? Now I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna suck. You ready? It's gonna suck. Um, well, I figured out over that practice round that sitting down is definitely the way to go. Standing up, I couldn't get much balance. With sitting down, I felt closer to the bike and just felt a lot better rather than standing up. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. Uh, it doesn't have a cushion or anything, a little bell. Can you adjust the seat? I got a mountain bike at home, and I ride probably four times a week. A little uh, one-pedal hop might be the strategy, not to, uh, not to sway your body weight side to side. Well, no, we'll see. I'm last, so I got a little bit of advantage on how fast I have, actually have to go, so. How do you feel about going first? It sucks. It totally it sucks. sucks. Why I don't does it want suck? To go first, but then it's good to get Look, over Look, if you kick ass at this, you set the bar, and you make them nervous, and they have to come up to your time. So scared. It's so high. It's Look, so all high. you have That's to do is kick bike. ass here, and you make it very difficult for them. That's all you have to do. Put on your game face, stop giggling around, get serious, lock down. Every event has sucked so far. <laughs> Where do you people come from? Yeah, I think Charlotte's step on the first one to go down. Number four, it's the pressure's on. Yeah, I just, yeah you're pressure. right. The four is the pressure's, pressure's on. Four is I got where it's at because I got to be able to see how far, how fast I have to push it. Yeah, but you get more you're nervous. You're right, but you might get more nervous if I make it all the way across. Totally. And then... I'm going. Woo! I'm totally afraid of heights. I'm scared to death of heights. I hate heights. This is gonna suck. You guys are having to wait too much time on your bikes. Why is that? I'm trying wow, to feel being trying line to get with the feel the for the bike. Oh yeah. All right, well let's do or die. Time to die. It's time to survive. It's long. It'll be fun. This was what half the size. It'll be fun to fall. You might fall here. <sighs> We're all set, we're all ready? Oh, her heart's pounding. I feel for her. <laughs> when I say go, you ready? Set, go! <laughs> Come on, Charlotte, go! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Oh, it's gonna catch me for her. Charlotte, don't worry about that. You're gonna be fine. You got safety gear. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Do it. Come on, Charlotte. So this is Harmony Part 2. Oh, it is Harmony Part 2. Uh, you're two minutes in. All the way to the back, catch some speed, and just go. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. You guys are going to ride this bike across that 12 inch wide beam and it separates these two buildings over 120 feet in the air. The person who does it the fastest or the person who goes the furthest without falling off is the one who's gonna walk away with $50,000. You're two minutes in. You get to the edge and you see this tiny little weak board. 
And even though I knew I had the safety equipment on, I felt like I was going to die. I didn't think it was going to be that scary. You get scared, so your arms start moving. And it's windy, and so you're trying to you know, stay on this board, and I'm trying to like stay in the middle. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm up so high. I'm going to fall. Oh my god, it's windy up here. And then you go, no, calm down. But it's going back and forth. It's your mind totally messing with you. She made me feel nervous, just her just not going. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's go. All right, come on, let's show up. 60 feet across is the total distance. She got 38 feet. What do you think Carol's going to do? Carol will do well. I think she's going to go yeah, slow Carol for balance. Definitely do well. Yeah? Slow she'll for balance. She's going to make well. it across? Yeah. yeah. She doesn't look very nervous, but I see the sweat dri dripping off her head. <laughs> Brave. That's Shut scary. Up. Chuck, you got any it's last awful. words of advice for her? Yeah, Carol, you don't, don't want to Don't be 38 feet. <laughs> she's ignoring me. Yeah. I think she's scared. What were you doing lounging up there? Yeah. What were you doing? I had to get my, my hair You were going to win. I thought you were going to win. This I, is it. I'm going to go gangbusters. It's busters. windy. And every time you get, get to the end, you it. get to the end. But you just you kept, try, oh, You get there, and it's, excuse oh, me, is that what I did? That's what you got to watch it. You got to, like, five false starts at least. You get to the edge and you see it and you know you're strapped in and everything. You know you're going home, right? No, I'm not going home because she's not going to no. be able to do. Winning this thing and being a girl, kind of gaining that respect from men and even women that might think I'm just a little too wimpy or prissy would be awesome. Carol, it's so scary. You're going to fall. It's all, about the, it's all about the power within. Carol, it's, it's all about the power within. She's making chicken noises at you. <laughs> Don't listen to this retard. Listen to her. I'm not listening. This failure, this chicken. She's falling. Look at her. Just, just, just yapping all this <laughs> nonsensical. Ah. Like, oh, you're going down. Um, talk, talk, talk. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, at least I got to 38 feet. You see that red line down there? Mm -hmm. There's a red mark. 38 feet down the beam is where her mark was. Carol, stop pretending to concentrate. You can cry. I have tissues. <laughs> <laughs> When I say go, you ready? Set, go. Oh, she's gonna fall. She's gonna. Oh no! No fall, fall, no! Seven point oh. eight seconds, Carol. Oh, yeah. Charlotte. No. no, baby. That felt pretty good. Charlotte, thank you for playing the game. Oh, we have to send you back. This was the best experience of my life. I could do this a hundred more times. It honestly goes down in my book as like the most fun, craziest thing I've ever done. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna change my shorts up. All right, let's do it. All right. 7.8 seconds. Holy. So now the pressure's on, right? A little bit. It's a lot of money for a little bit of pressure. Yeah, uh, that's true. Now Joel's gotta step in. No matter what, if you want to win, you have to make it across. So now it's a time thing. 7.8 seconds. Yes, how, how, how was it? 7.8 seconds. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, they might be shaking in their pants a little bit, guys. Quite impressive. You're going to get a little shaky there. You think these guys are going to be able to be? No, they're shaking in their pretty pants. You think they're going to, like, they, and they're like pretty I can't pants. lose to a girl? Ugh. Man, this is nerve wracking. I haven't really been psyching myself out at all. Because if you psych yourself out, then you won't do something. I've just been keeping an open mind and I'm not nervous at all. Remember, time to beat is 7.8 seconds. When I say go, you ready? Set, go. Remember, time to beat is 7.8 seconds. When I say go, you ready, set, go. Just thinking, don't look down, don't look down, don't look at your front tire, don't see where you're at, just look where you're gonna go, you know? And I had to beat Carol's time, you know, 7.8. And I was going for six, I was going for five. As I started booking across, 120 feet in the air, and I looked down, and where I looked, I, 
That's where I fell. Everybody already thought they had their money in the pocket, but you know, if you, if you take yourself out of your shoes for a second, it was just a game. The money was never yours to have anyways. It wasn't earned, it was just won. It's definitely disappointing, but you live and learn, and it was definitely, it was a cool experience. How you feeling? Ah! Jeff, pressure's on you, my man. It's time to step it up. How do you feel right now watching him fall? I didn't, him falling didn't bother me. You yeah. Know, there's less, one less person to, I have to worry about time beating. You have to beat 7.8 seconds. Once you get the momentum, just drive straight and go. But you gotta hoof it, because my girl got 7.8 seconds, and that's what you gotta beat. When it comes onto a stunt and I see it for the first time and I decide what I'm supposed to do, it doesn't scare me, it doesn't make me nervous. I just sit and I think through it. My mind is quick to decide what to do. I don't get very nervous, I don't stress over things. I just look at it, figure it out, and I do it. How do you think Chef's gonna do? Come on, how do you think Jeff's going to do? He's a big guy, so you don't know about the balance deal, the factor. <laughs> Jeff has excellent balance. What are you talking about? He's an athlete. You ready to do this, my man? Yes. Let's get him up there. I think I'm a little bit more nervous than he is right now. All right, Jeff, remember, you got to beat 7.8 seconds. Ready, set, go. Congratulations on getting this far. You did have a great time. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did didn't, you have fun at least? I had a great time, but I did not like losing You did a that. great job. Thank Look, you. you were the only person to get through it before. You went out there and kicked ass. I'm sorry. You did a great job, though. Congratulations on getting this far. All right. Thank I you. I got to send you packing. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. Man. That's it. Congratulations, my man. <laughs> Five seconds. Heck yeah. You set the time to beat inside the tunnel. Nobody can beat you there. You ate the nasty eggs. You got through this in five seconds. You are a $50,000 champion, and evidently, fear is not a factor for you. That is right. Woo yes, sir. with the guts. All right, let's do this. Win the glory. Fear Factor on its new night, Sunday starting at 7, begins tomorrow only on Schiller. Scary Good. Scare Tactics is back with host Tracy Morgan, hosting back-to-back -back episodes. Fear is funny. Scare Tactics, Mondays starting at 7, only on Schiller. Scary Good.